they're going to be talking about uh, veterans' home loans, which I find very interesting. I'm a VA uh, loan. You know, I, I took a VA loan on myself in my home. And so Ron is going to be talking about, uh, I think, legal assistance. So I'm going to get four of them, okay? So I'm a lot, a lot of fun. Everything has to be fun for me. So how are you guys doing tonight? Good. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Celebrate Father's Day. And thank you guys all for your service. Um, and if you're a spouse of a, a veteran, then thank you also for supporting your spouse. So um, a few things I wanted to start with. My name is Silvana Sarkis. I am not a veteran, and also I am not an attorney, so do not ask me legal questions. <laughs> I graduated law school at the age of 24 and started my real estate company 20 years ago. Um, however, I'm a patriotic, uh, veteran-loving, country-loving, stand for the flag, kneel to the cross kind of girl. I love Jesus. Um, so I, I wanted to say that first and foremost. Um, so basically what you do with Chris is you're going to find the funding. The process is going to be taken. He's going to take the process, make sure you get pre-qualified, and then we get to go out shopping for a home. So with the qualifications that he gives you. I wanted to introduce one of my um, real estate. She's a, also a patriotic lady. She's like one of my special veteran buyers agents, Ms. Michelle. And um, she does speak a, a little bit of Spanish or poquito. And yo lo también. <laughs> So, um, so once again, to introduce myself, I'm five foot one tall. That's why I gotta put this down. <laughs> so I'm a real estate broker with a law degree. Um, I graduated from Western State University. My background, my undergrad was criminal justice and human services. Um, after I graduated law school, I was gonna go be a JAG officer, but my dad was Armenian, and he's like, no, 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 you gotta stay to the program. So um, I just graduated law school, and then I said, you know what, Dad, I'm not gonna be an attorney. And he got upset at me. And then um, I just wanted to do, at that time, I was like 24 years old. So I was like, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I've, I've done everything for you, so um, I was a good daughter for the most part. Um, so I also have a couple of designations. Um, I literally have a niche, I work with veterans. I work with, um, cert I'm a certified divorce real estate expert, a certified probate real estate specialist, and a senior real estate specialist. Sometimes it's a combination of three things. You have like someone in probate who's a veteran and he's a senior. That's me, that's my niche. I love that niche. I'm not like your door knocker, you know, go to doors and I work with a lot of referrals. So a lot of that is um, what I do. So I was also, I just came up with a beautiful slogan in the last 60 days I've been thinking and thinking and thinking. So I'm your patriotic real estate advocate with a legal edge. Yeah, How do you guys yeah, like that? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so uh, I wanted to talk about, I mean, Chris did a great job. Mr. Chris Pacheco, Marine, give him a round of applause. He did an awesome job for me doing the day loan. I honestly love working with him. This guy works the hardest. I mean, of course, he's a lot younger than me. I used to work that hard when I was that young. But um, he's awesome and he really cares about veterans and he cares about people. So that it's really important who you align yourself with. Um, so the employment, of, I, the home buying benefits. Sometimes people come out of the military they get, or they get deployed and their wife is here. So then you need employment, right? So you also, um, I, the gentleman in the back with the blue hat, I, I didn't get your name. Yes, you, Mr. Semper Fi guy. <laughs> um, you did a great job explaining like the disability um, and how to get 100%. So that's another way you qualify, right? So that's one thing. So I'm, I'm not going to talk about loans because I think Chris did a great job. But what, what a lot of people lo don't look at when they're hiring a realtor is they hire their cousin or whatever, right? So, or, or their best friend. But, you know, when you hire someone like who's qualified, you get the negotiation, you get the consulting, and you get the importance of a person who works with real estate agents and veterans.
So the three things, the most important skills that I believe is good in a real, finding a realtor is first of all, are they patriotic, right? Are they gonna defend you? Because when that offer goes through and the seller wants to pay for everything, I've got actually offers accepted where the seller is paying for things for the veteran because they love their country. And I have an assertive personality. I have a look cute with a smile, but I'm very assertive in my legalese comes in handy at that time. Um, so uh, one is consulting. So, you know, we consult with first time home buyers, we consult with relocation, um, like people from moving from Texas or something like that back to the California. Um, I do a lot of trust probate, dissolution of marriage, uh, and we list and market and sell for investors as well. So like, if you have a house but you wanna buy another one, we can help you do that too. Uh, second thing is negotiation, and like I said, earlier, the most important thing about a real estate agent is negotiating and providing solutions for your problems. So like the incident that he pulled out of the flag with the Navy who knew the contractor who got the notarized for the power of attorney, that's a solution-driven person. Like some realtors, they don't even comprehend how they are, they just follow a template and, and they do it. So mine is all customized for that person. Everybody's different, everybody's gonna get a, a different, but the treatment is gonna be the same. So you wanna identify the property, the location, the community you wanna belong in, the kids, I don't know if some of you guys have kids or grandkids and schools, stuff like that. Um, if um, you're moving to California and you don't know where the communities like American Legion is, that's very important when finding a house. And um, the third and most important thing, in my opinion, is overseeing things. So, if, how, how many of you guys bought a house? Yeah. How many of you guys sold a house? How many of you guys done both? I'm good. Okay. So, pretty much almost all the hands went up, but you, you're, we're working with 14 people, 14 different things escrow, title, lenders, appraisals, inspectors, underwriting county assessors, attorneys sometimes, I have to work a lot with attorneys, CPAs, transaction coordinators, homeowners associations, professional cleaning companies sometimes, we have to have handyman sometimes, we have to have contractors. Um, so we also review and sign about 200 documents. I'm not even talking about the loan that you signed with Chris. I'm talking about all the disclosures you have to read and be prepared to understand, and most people just sign it, but I try to explain it to my client, what they're signing for or what they're initialing for. So that is like pretty much the most important thing, and that's where um, my legalese comes in play because I have a law degree and I write contracts for a living, but it's in real estate, so that's pretty awesome. And also like a lot of people that are realtors, they don't have their team. Like Michelle and I do a very good job, and along with Chris, we are a team, we will do what it takes. So now, the reason why I like coming to these events is like, um, I think Jeff and Jeff, Jeff Squared, you guys, like, you know, like, it's kind of cool, the paddleboard, get, get them on the water, like, disabled veterans. Like, if someone says, like, I just want to be on the water, I go, oh my God, I got a resource for you, let me call Jeff. You know, if, I, if someone needs disability, and we work a lot with VLI. In fact, the founder of the company is one of our good friends, the three of us. Um, she's, um, she helps people with legal questions. And she actually has 367 applications as the Veterans Legal Institute. If you guys don't know, you, that's a good resource to have. Um, people like Christine and, and um, other people that you guys met today, I, I don't want to name all of them, but that's, um, that's what we do and when, I invest a lot of my time learning about different resources for veterans, and that's what makes it different because I actually love it. <laughs> so, um, so the benefits of working with a veteran-friendly agent is their expertise, understanding their respect to your background, like right. So, you we have to respect the, our client's decision, even if it's against ours. So, and I'm very patriotic, so I understand all their decisions, um, whether it's their children or whether they're getting deployed and they have to sell the house or whatever the case may be. Uh, connections, um, you need housing specialists to connect with you on a local resource and um, in a timely manner, right? So sometimes I know people that don't get their disability for eight to 12 years and they're like, whoa, and then they get a big paycheck, which buys them a house. 
150,000. I, I just heard a story from a gentleman who spoke at the American Legion 291 in Newport that he applied for 11 years and got declined with a disability. And then he got a big check because they paid him back 11 years. I think it was, he said it was like over $150,000 in a paycheck. So those kind of connections you need to know. Uh, let's see. So most relevant programs available. And the gentleman who asked right there, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. With a long beard, yes, Pedro. you. Pedro. 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 You ask, so you ask Chris if there's other, other benefits if you're 100% disabled. I was just talking to um, one of my attorneys who referred me a veteran, and um, and she basically got a house in San Clemente, and she is 100% disabled, got a VA loan, and they actually exempted her from paying her property taxes. I don't know if that's something new. I actually never heard it until she told me. And this was just the conversation I had like three weeks ago. So you might want to look into the Orange County County Assessor's Office on that one. And um, digital tools, market analysis, and area insights. That's understanding the current housing market. I honestly don't believe that anyone's got to say like, well, the market's gonna crash, the market's gonna, it's, it's in a weird stage. I've been doing this for 20 years. I actually started as a mortgage broker, um, and I saw the crash go in 2008. You know, a lot of people lost um, a lot in the, during those times. So I would keep it to the professional that you trust to give you the insight. Even though I'm not, I'm not gonna be 100% accurate, I could be totally wrong, but I believe that as veterans, you guys are getting 100%. Yeah, the interest rate might be a little higher, but it's always a good time to buy for a veteran, right? So. Um, that's what I, I believe in. And so when you get qualified, Chris will get you a pre-approval letter. And then, like I said, we go shopping. And the search process usually goes like this. The wife wants to be in this area. The husband wants to be in this area. The guy wants to be a nice garage in the backyard. And the wife wants a nice kitchen. So it's like, woo! You know, the search process is fun and amazing. I try to come to an uh, agreement between the both of them if it's, you know, a, a husband and wife. Um, setting priorities. Like, you have to understand your budget. Like, you can't go looking at a million dollar house when Chris just gave you a documentation that says you're approved for 800000 That's unrealistic, right? So, uh, setting the criteria. You can't be like, oh, I want to live in Rancho Cucamonga, but I want to be by the beach in San Clemente. That's like a big, <laughs> you know, big difference. So you want to like, kind of like cruise the area with your family or your whoever you're going to buy the house with and, and decide what criteria works best for you. And then the home inspection. I have a team of contractors and handymen that work with me, and they do an awesome job um, inspecting the property with me, alongside me. We stage the property together. Um, we try to get you the best value with a little money that you have to put in to sell the house. And then when you're home inspecting it as a buyer, then it's really good that um, you have someone that's the, not only the home inspector, because the home inspector is going to call out everything, but sometimes people make a big deal about the paint of the house or, you know, I, I don't think any of you guys are here to say that because you are all service people. Um, I'm sure you've been through worse than just figuring out what paint to color the house. Uh, so. Like what I have, I um, also go through the final walkthrough with them, my clients. I make sure that everything that needs to be repaired that was discussed is in repair mode. I also, uh, I always follow up with um, them after they sell a house. If they bought, if they bought, already purchased the house, we become friends usually. Um, most of my clients are my friends and they refer other past clients, other clients to me and to our team. And then um, I also serve all five counties. I'm not only in Orange County, I love Orange County, but I sold homes in San Diego, LA, San Bernardino, Riverside. So don't hesitate if you know someone, because we have a team. I have a team in Corona, I have a team in LA, so. And I always love going to San Diego. So, so that's pretty much it. I also wanted to let you guys know, not to brag or boast, but I also wrote a book um, um, in 2020, I got bored. I was like, what am I gonna do with my life? Like, I can't go out anymore, I can't eat anywhere, <laughs> can't see my friends. So I actually published a book in 2020 
Um, I don't know if we could raffle it or if someone wants it, I'll sign it. I brought a couple if you want it. Please come over after and see me and I promise you I will give it to you free. It is on Amazon, but I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna give it to a veteran or whoever wants to read it, whoever actually reads. Um, so yes, um, it's called 33 Things That Can Go Wrong and Do in Real Estate Transactions. And on, my, on, the, on the tables I put on the back of my card, um, the link, the QR code to the link to Amazon. Um, so does anybody have any questions or? I mean, I know you guys really killed Chris. I was like, oh, a lot of questions they asked. Yes, sir. I thought the property tax, tax exemption, uh, there's, there was two exemptions. There was one, a regular with like a no limit, which was 100 grand. It didn't matter how much you made, but you get 100 grand adjusted off your home. And then there's a low income one, which they'll, um, if you meet the criteria, they deduct 150 grand off. Off the 100, 150 out of the off, value? Off the value of your home. Honestly, I never heard of that when she told me that she actually is experiencing it. She doesn't pay property taxes at all. That's what she told me. And she did buy it though in 2000, I think it was 2018. So I don't know if the rules were different then, but you know, she's getting a divorce and she's talking to me about selling it. And I don't know if she would lose that if she did. But go ahead, sir. Yeah, I got an answer for you on that one. Um, I had to go through the, I got Prop 13, I've been in the house for 48 years. Mm -hmm. When I got 100%, I got a letter from the, uh, I got a letter from the Orange County uh, tax assistance office. They said, please, please come down and bring your paperwork. So I went down to the tax assistance office. My house at the time was, was appraised at 180,000. Of course, it's worth more, but I'm under Prop 13. The state of California gave me $120,000 relief. So my assessed valuation on the house was six thousand sixty thousand dollars. So I paid six hundred dollars a year on property tax. That's awesome. That's awesome. I think if you're a certain age, I think it's fifty-five. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, they just said. They, they, I mean, this is a tax assessor's office over here in Santa Ana. They simply said you get one hundred twenty thousand dollars relief if my property taxes were two hundred twenty-five thousand. I would get half off of that. But they simply took it at the assessed valuation. Took 120 off, and that's in that, and they stuck the uh, so six six thousand dollars a year is my assessed valuation. But that's a set figure by the state, not by the county. Right. So they base it off your income. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I know there's one that bases it on your age, strictly but I don't know if it's Prop 13. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But it had nothing to do with income. Right the the Any other questions? Oh, by the way. Um, I have a few more. I know some of you guys took one, but I, I don't want it this because it's chocolates and I'm on like a restricted sugar calorie intake. <laughs> so please um, help yourself if you didn't get one. Um, please help yourself. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Christine. Christine and Daniel and the team. And um, I also, I guess um, Michelle has some flags here. I, Michelle, Michelle's awesome. <laughs> awesome Michelle. She always had so many resources. I love working with her. She's awesome. So we have some flags here if you guys want some. Just um, and then this next level gym actually does training for our veterans for free. So is that yep, correct? In yes. Irvine. So you can go to this gym for free. It's in Irvine, California. So if you guys want to take a picture or get the QR code. Yes. I'm going to leave it up here. Uh, I think Shalini has like two or three, but we can always scan it to you or send it to you. Um, thank you, Michelle, for bringing that. Please, you guys, help yourself. Christina and the team, Daniel and Angel, thank you guys all for having us. We look forward to helping more veterans find homes, the American dream, right? And um, selling their homes. So when you think about looking for a real estate agent or a loan officer, please think of Michelle and I and Mr. Chris Pacheco. Thank you guys so much. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are we doing today? Good, good, good. Welcome. Awesome resources. I want to connect with all the resources, that, especially the guy with the blue hat. That's awesome. I, I have a lot of veterans who, and it's very connected to the home loan process. If anybody's gone through it, you know, that's your money. And banks actually give you a 25% um, bonus for anything that's service connected uh, because it's non-taxable. 
We won't get into that. Uh, who's here to learn about VA loans? Yeah. <laughs> Me. Who, uh, who has used a VA loan before? Awesome. Awesome. It's not that I don't care about you guys, but what I'm trying to do is if you, even if you've used it and if you're not in the market to buy, and you know other veterans who have questions and who have a lot of myths, there's a lot of obstacles that someone, a veteran does to themselves thinking, oh, I don't qualify for this. I don't qualify for that. So today's structure is gonna be, I'm gonna dispel 12 myths for you guys. And it's gonna be interactive, so I wanna hear and have participants, okay? Can I tell you a little bit about myself first? Go oh, ahead. Thank you. My name is Chris Pacheco. So I was a Marine Corps veteran from 14 to 18. Where are the Marines at? <laughs> well, I wanted to also thank Christine for setting this up and my business partner, Silvana. I see you, Michelle. Thanks for filming. Um, so um, yeah, I was, I, I got, and the same thing, it was, it was a little bit of a transition. I did start a business while I was in, so I got a taste of the civilian world. I uh, got to go to SC, got my master's there. And you know, I, I was very fortunate. I had a lot of mentorship around, and I actually personally love coaching Marines and other veterans with active duty guys and uh, people transitioning out. So if you know anyone who's in an age bracket that's a little bit younger that's transitioning out, uh, I definitely love to coach them and just kind of give them my spill of, of resources. And I'd love to add everybody who spoke here as a resource. So I'm gonna get into the myths. Okay, so VA loan sounds like mostly everybody knows what a VA loan is in here and have used it. So myth. So I'm just going to say the statement. You tell me if it's a myth or or if it's true, true or myth, true or false. Veterans only have one chance to use their VA home loan. False. false. Oh, use it over okay, I want to hear one answer of why it's false. Because it if you pay it off. You can use it again. That's as, correct. As long as it's paid off. There's just one slight adjustment to that. What is it? You, if you pay it off, you cannot go and use another VA loan again. You have to sell the property. So a lot. Of, so that that's that's actually a myth in itself. You cannot collect a bunch of homes using your VA loan. I'll give you guys an example. For those who have used a VA loan. Who has ever refinanced their VA loan into a conventional loan and went and used their VA loan again? So you're only able to do that once. Did anybody else know that you could do that? No. So you could get two homes, zero down, using a VA loan. So I have personally done it, and it's something that I advise. But the thing that the VA will stop on the loan from the banking side, they'll say, hey, you already have another home, unless you refi it, and it's called a one-time restoration. So, um, yeah, and like I say, if you sell the house loan, you can continue to use it for the rest of your life. Okay, next, uh, VA loans can only be used to buy a house. Well, let me say, let me rephrase that. VA loans can only be used to buy a single family residency. False. Why is it false? Not a motor home, but manufactured home. So long as it's in a permanent foundation, a condo. How many people knew that you could buy up to four units, a four unit, a quadplex with a VA loan? Zero down. Really? You can do that. That? No, four, four units. Four units you can buy. So you can buy a quadplex. I have personally put veterans into homes where all the renters are covering the more entire mortgage and the veteran is living mortgage free. So I wouldn't suggest the conditions because it's kind of small, you know, if you've got a full family to live in a quadplex. But um, I actually know of another veteran that I personally have done a loan for who got a quadplex, refinanced that into a conventional loan and went and bought another quadplex with it. So it's a big wealth generator. It's a still a loan product. All right, next one. VA loans are small and only ideal for starter homes. False. True or false? False. 
Someone answer false. me. Why is it false? So, as of January 2020, there are no loan limits on VA loans. <coughs> Trivia for you guys. The, what's the highest VA loan ever, ever funded? $2 million. $2 million. Nope. Higher? Higher. Well, I'm going to give it one more, one more person. 50? She was the closest. $14 million. Beverly Hills. I, I, I didn't do the loan. I wouldn't be standing here. <laughs> VA loans take too long to process. True or false? False. Tell, hey, that, that one's kind of hard, uh, but us personally, uh, I mean, I just funded a loan in 15 days. Uh, we do a lot of the, like, and this is to walk you a little through the process. You know, if for anyone who's buying a home, they know this, you fill out the application, you get all your income docs in. But we set up the full package on the front end. So I don't know who else follows the real estate market right now, but there's a crisis in California specifically. Uh, there's not enough homes for how many people want to buy. Even though buyer demand is low and interest rates are high, that's why you're not seeing the homes just completely taken out because supply and demand. Right now, having a, a great loan officer behind your VA loan is vitally important, someone that can close quick. So yeah, that is definitely a myth. Correct. It's too difficult to qualify for a VA loan. True or false? False. So it's actually easier to qualify more than other programs. They allow, most banks allow for more debt to income ratio. So usually with conventional, you're capped at 49%. With FHA, you're capped at 56.9%. Uh, with VA, uh, I have funded a guy with 72% debt to income ratio. That's the highest that it is that, that I've ever done. But, um, and usually they're more forgiving when it comes to credit scores as well. VA loans are too expensive. True or false? False. False. So there, it is false because it is the most affordable loan product in the mortgage market. And the VA actually has a cap on how much banks can charge you on your VA loan. So you are protected. And there are some charges that you personally cannot pay that the sellers have to pay as well. Okay. Only combat veterans are eligible for VA loans. True or false? I'm not a combat veteran myself and I have a couple of VA loans. So. Um, and it's open to veterans. Obviously, I think most of the rooms are, I think I saw one active duty guy in here. Um, active duty service members, uh, reservists have to serve six years or 90 days on active duty. Uh, surviving spouses, do we have any surviving spouses in here? You are eligible for a VA loan if you don't already have one. Um, academy graduates, so there's uh, guys that have gone to the academy and there's like certain circumstances where they don't fulfill their commission or their active duty service, they are still eligible for VA loans. And certain national health service officers. I have yet to do one of those, but um, they are eligible. Uh, this one's gonna be obvious, so if the other ones haven't been. Uh, veterans uh, must be discharged or retired to use their VA home loan benefits. False. False. So I just named it as active duty. So, you know, that, despite the name of Veterans Affairs, if you're active duty, you can still use your VA loan. I used mine before my second deployment. Veterans who are serving away from home or overseas cannot get a loan until they return to occupy their property. That's a little trickier one. True or false? False. That's false. Do you, I'm gonna ask you, do you guys know how short of a timeline a veteran has to occupy their property? Within two months. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two years? Three, or from like when they bought it to when they have to actually live in the property. Oh. 
Does anybody know? Want to take a guess? 60 days. Well, you, it can be up to one year, but it's usually 60, it, they, the VA manual has 60 days. For extenuating circumstances, the spouse can go in and move into the house. But that applies for veterans too. I've done loans for veterans that are moving back to California and their their transfer is later in the year but they wanted to buy so they have moved like their family to satisfy the 12 month the 12 month factor so can i ask you a question real quick yes sir go back to that last one you were talking about so what if uh, you say the active duty person can get a home loan VA. yes so let's say down the line he gets a dishonorable discharge what happens I would have to look that one up. I have not seen that one. I highly doubt that the, that the VA will take away the VA loan because I've actually done VA home loans for someone who has been uh, other than honorable discharge. So you just have to keep the house on the VA loan then. Correct, correct. I don't think that they would go in and take it away. I'm gonna look that up. I've never been asked that question. I've never had that scenario. It's obviously extremely rare, but I mean, actually, I'm a Marine, so it's not that rare. So I know there's some dishonorable discharges there. Um, what if you don't have an honorable, let's say like an other than honorable or general or medical? So medical, yes. Other and general, yes. You're still eligible. But there's certain points that you have to collect, and it depends on how long you actually served as well. So there's a point system of how long you serve, just like the reservists have as well. So, let's see here. VA loans require perfect credit scores, true or false? False. Does anybody know what the lowest, how low they will go? What's the lowest credit score someone can have? 480. <laughs> we need to talk offline. No, so that's a no. So, the VA. <laughs> So the VA actually doesn't, in their handbook, says there's no credit requirement on the FICO scores, but banks, I've never seen a bank go under 500. So that's typical, like, you know, 500. I always recommend to have your score at least a 620 to be eligible. Next one. VA appraisals are nightmares. For those who have gone through a VA appraisal, um, I, I mean, it's, it's, I, I would, I'm just going to answer this one myself. Um, there are certain requirements, like I was saying, the VA has a lot of um, prerequisites that protect veterans from being overcharged by a bank, but they also want to protect the veteran in their household and the, and the, the home that they're buying. So termites is a big thing. There has to be anything that's given value on the house has to have a termite clearance. Um, paint is a big thing, and then the house has at least gotta have a roof that's sustainable. So VA appraisers, are at, they actually go and get certified and do all these VA classes, and they're very strict to the manual on that home being eligible for the veterans of purchase. That's it for my questions. Does anybody have any questions regarding VA loans? Right now. Yes, sir. Uh, how about these new bar dominium? Can you get a, a loan for the bar dominium if you pay for the land? Bar, bar dominium, what is that? I haven't heard of that. They're just a big barn that has an apartment or a home hooked inside of it. It's like living in your shop. If the home has a structure, if the home has a structure on it, and it's consistent. It's, no, it's, it, I'm saying, will they help you find it having one built if you have the land? So there is a con VA construction loans. Okay. So there is a process where you can get the financing for the land and the construction. You gotta have all the blueprints done. You gotta have the, the contractors gotta be eligible through a VA system to be able to construct on it. Um, not a lot of banks are offering it right now. I know of two banks that are offering it. The interest rates are a little bit higher because they're they're a little bit riskier because it's a it's a process. You know, you're not getting the house and funding it in 15. You're not going to be living in it in 15 days. There's obviously a process that goes through it. But yes, it is it is doable. Good to know. Yes, sir. Uh, 
know. Yes, sir. So about that single, mm -hmm. let's say he doesn't qualify for the house he wants. Correct. He can still, let's say he wants to use his daughter, can they do it that way too? They can, but the VA only acknowledges spouses and other veterans. So like two veterans can get together. I just did a loan for a boyfriend and a girlfriend. One was a veteran and one was an active duty. It was a, it was a nightmare. But yeah, the guy was on, you guys wanna hear a story real quick? Yes. Before, okay, so the guy, he was the active duty member and the girl was the veteran. Uh, the guy was on ship, right? And they didn't accept the power of attorney that she had. So the seller of the house was a Navy officer and actually, I, I'm sorry, he was a former Navy officer, contractor, and knew of the contractors that were working on the ship. We literally printed the, the sheet, the power of attorney needed because he couldn't sign with the notary, printed it out, the commanding officer notarized it, the legal adjective, they flew it off of a helicopter back to San Diego, and it was the craziest thing that I've ever, I ever seen in my life. But we funded the loan. I didn't expect to take that one out the hat today. But to answer your question, um, so they would only acknowledge, and that's another myth that I feel like I should have. Actually, that was her question. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. It was my brother, and he's veteran doesn't make enough, so I wondered if he can do it with his daughter, with their income. They, they can, but, so the VA guarantees up to 25% of the loan. That's why you don't pay mortgage insurance. And I know I didn't go through like a 101 class today, because um, I figured a lot of people knew about VA loans. But that 25% only covers the veteran. So what they do is they split it in half, and the daughter or whoever brings in the money they have to come in with 12 and a half percent of a down, of a down payment. Okay. As a loan officer, I would advise them to possibly go FHA or conventional where they can go three to three and a half percent down payment. Okay. Yes, but it is it is doable. Okay, thank you. Of course. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm, I'm a widow. My husband is 100% service connected. My mom is 100% service connected. Mm -hmm. Cypress. So how do I do to, to build two houses to be alone? So, so, so you want to, do you already, do you currently have a VA loan on the house? Yeah, but it's paid for. It's paid for, okay, so you have VA, so you want to construct more. Two houses on there. Okay, so you and you already have like it's permitted to be able to do. perfect. Um, get with me because what you would probably do in that situation, since you already own the land, is refinance, do a cash out refinance for the money that you need to finance for the rest of the properties. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'll give you my contact information. And then you said when you get a loan, I mean, you said you get this if your response is hundred percent. Uh, you can, because you still receive the funds, the compensation, correct? Yes, um, he's an Air Force, um, 25 years in the service, and when he died, he didn't get the 100%. Okay. He died in 2004, but 2006, he was the letter, and then that's when he dropped his office. Oh, perfect. Service committee for life. Okay. And you receive the compensation, yes, correct? Yes. So yeah, that portion, because it's non-taxable, 25% bonus that's added to that income. Yes, no, we'll definitely, no. And when we ask you for the documents, that's auto, That's like not a thing you request, it's already automatically. Any other questions regarding VA loans? Yes, sir. No, no, there's no no added except for the 25% bonus, and that goes for if you're 100% or 10%. It you know, it's non-taxable, but no, not that I know. There, there isn't any other benefits. So, 
problem. I read that if you're at 100, percent they actually give you, I think it's like 30 grand to cover the closing costs. So that might be for a certain program. The banks that I have worked with, they they don't offer any of those added incentives. But if you've heard of anything, I've, I'm always open to explore it. I just wanted to think that when I bought my house, yeah. I didn't have 100 mm percent, -hmm. so I only got the normal VA loan. Yes. But I was in the process. I had my claim in, but the time frame didn't work out, and I really wanted to get into the house, so I didn't get the ex that that part. Yeah. But, um, you know, I wanted to see if anybody knew how true is that. And what are the actual requirements for it? So, so the banking programs, they come out in seasons. So right now, there's a tightening of monetary policy right now because banks are afraid to give out money. That's, that's actually part of the reason why interest rates are high right now. There's a, there's a lack of money out there. So uh, programs come in and out. A lot of those grant programs that you, you probably heard of like one bank who had that one specifically, um, there, there's not a lot of those out currently, even for non-veterans. So like down payment assistance programs have tightened up, but it just comes in seasons. So, um, but I, I, I'll give you my information. I'm, every time something does come out, I usually let my database know right away. Yeah, of course, I know that there's no there, so there is a, that's, a, that's another myth. I'm going to add that one to my questions for my next class. Um, that is a myth. So closing costs, there's, someone has to still pay for the loan. Now, the way it was before when there was a lot less demand and there was a lot more listings, sellers were very desperate to get their, their home sold. So they agreed, hey, we're going to pay for the veteran to, you know, for their closing costs so they can buy the house. And there was actually, uh, before I was even in the business, the VA loan used to be harder to work with because they would require the seller to pay for certain closing costs as well. So I, you very likely you're, you're gonna see it, but because of the supply issue right now, it's still a real estate transaction. You're still, you're still competing. They're not gonna give you the home automatically because you're a veteran. You're still competing with other people who have conventional loans, FHA loans. So you still have to be competitive because the person wants to buy wants to sell at their price. So asking for money in this market is pretty tough. Not impossible, somebody might be desperate, not even listed on the market, and you might have a, a great realtor like Savannah who will find that uh, ha has her connections, say, hey, this, this, this person needs to sell their house like ASAP. You might get lucky and, and get an added benefit like that. But it is doable, yes sir. I bought my first house on the VA no no. Yep, VA no no. Yep. Is that what you're talking about? That's what we're talking about. Yeah. So it's not a, VA no no. It's not an actual program. It's like basically just a nickname that was given to the method of how to do the loan. Yeah, because the, the seller put my down payment for me on my first house. Yep. Yeah. So that that's very fortunate. The times have changed, and the, the state has made it extremely hard with a lot of red tape to build more. So. Any other questions? They're locking me down here. Yes, uh, I'm a widow of a veteran uh, who was discharged with an undesirable discharge. Never used to the VA loan. Am I able to use it? So there is a process that gets brought to a board for acceptance. I'm going to give you my card, and we're going to file a, I guess, an acceptance, an exemption to see what we can do. I don't have that answer for you right now. I'll, I'll give you my card after I'm done. Any other questions from everybody else? Going once, going twice. If you guys want to have questions or think of something, come and find me again. My name is Chris Pacheco. Thank you for being attentive. This was a lot of fun. And Christy, thank you so much for, for bringing me out. And Savannah, thank you for hosting. Hope you guys got some out.